15. Hello my kings and queens, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I will be playing hot seat. So I got some questions for y'all. Y'all gonna find out some things that I probably shouldn't be telling y'all, but y'all the kings and queens. But um, if I don't wanna answer it, I mean, I guess I don't have a choice. I have to answer them, but see that's editing can take out whatever she wanna do, honestly. So it don't even matter, like. <laughs> People always assume that I'm mean, which I am actually, so I'm just kidding. No, I'm actually really nice. I'm just like, I don't have a big personality if I've never met you before. Like, I'll try to be as nice as I can, but I'm not very comfortable. So I can come off as very nonchalant and like quiet, but I'm actually like a nice person. Just don't do anything to irritate me. And I feel like we won't have no issues. Is there anything that is completely off limits for you? In terms of like what? You didn't specify, so let's say. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, cause I'm really good at pulling off when I embarrass myself. So I can't, I can't think of a most embarrassing moment because I would have to think like, sometimes when embarrassing stuff happens, you just want to push it out your mind. So you don't have to think about it no more. So I could probably only think of like recent embarrassing experience. Um. Yeah, there was this one time that my zipper was down at a, like a, a social event, and but that wasn't that embarrassing as much. I feel like something recently has happened more embarrassing. If I trip or I do something embarrassing, I'm really good at just laughing about it with the person that witnessed it. Like I don't really have nothing. Like, this one time at band camp, I'm not doing it. Hold on. Oh, what? Um, hello. <laughs> Jeez, I don't want my nephew to die. Shut you, you ain't been over here in forever. No, what are you not. talking about? You've been a whole yes, you have, boy. I made your close friends that I can't get out. It's been two years, Hassan. Since you've been him? Oh, I'm gonna hang up. up. <laughs> when the walks up to your other party trying to talk about them, what's one thing he has to say and you be like, okay, I'm done with this conversation for real? I'm done with the conversation if he said it? Yeah. I, I, I got it. Okay, hold on. How do I word it? Um, oh. I'm trying to see what you want, shorty. I hate that. Don't even walk up to me and say that. Trying to see what I want for what? For what? <laughs> walk up and have a regular conversation like, if you, if anything that involves you rubbing your hands, looking at me, like, just don't even look at me. Don't even walk up. Have you ever snuck out the house for what? No. I mean, my parents, like, if I ever wanted to go see my friends and it was night, most likely we was driving somewhere to go get food. I would just be like, I'm gonna go outside with blah, blah, real quick to go get food. Like, I never really had to sneak out before. Like, no, I'll just tell them I'm leaving. Out of everybody who was in the room yesterday night. Yesterday night in the room. At Canopy. At Canopy. The room, that room. Okay. Who would you have, out of everybody, who would you have made out with? <laughs> To say their name. I mean, you're editing. You can do <laughs> Oh, you're right. Um, who would I have made out there with? There was a lot of people. Hmm, I made out with. There was a lot of people, but none of them. I mean, there, there I was, would make out there's with. There's choosers. There's, be there's beggars at your knees there yesterday. But I wouldn't make out with none of them. Okay, so pick one. <sighs> I don't. I'm sorry, like, <laughs> at our school, y'all, I'm just, there's not a big pool of people that I would associate with. Like, everybody knows each other, everybody being each other business, everybody mess with the same people. Like, if I had to pick somebody out of Canopy yesterday to kiss, it would be, I wouldn't kiss nobody else in there, like. Okay. If maybe if you had said, like, uh, like another party, then you, <laughs> kissing is crazy. What has been the most daring thing you've done so far, junior year? I tattooed my face. Just kidding. I hope don't keep going with it. <laughs> What's the most bizarre thing you've done in the talking stage? Ooh. I made that. Mmm. What's the most bizarre thing I've done in a talking stage? 
Well, <laughs> well, I have a few things. The talking stage lasted for eight months. The talking stage led to me moms and grandmas. The talking stage led to literally living together for a whole season. The talking stage. Uh, I got a lot of gifts during the talking stage. I spent a lot of money during the talking stage. Um. I brought home cooked food from my mama to the talking stage and ate they home cooked food from they mama. Yeah. Basically, the most bizarre thing I did at the talking stage was be in a relationship without being in a <laughs> Don't do that. And out here, like, if you trying to just get with a girl like that, you might as well just say that up front and only do that. Cause if we eating, if we hanging out, like, I don't know what you expect. When you spend time with somebody, you grow closer to them. That's anybody like. Okay. What's one thing you strongly believe in? God. I strongly believe in God because I truly do think that he be testing us, preparing us for something bigger in life. And I feel like lately in life, I've been really having to lean and pray because people keep trying me. And um, I'm just trying to grow. I'm just trying to get my degree and get up out of here and start real life. And yeah, I believe in God. I pray a lot whenever things is right, whenever things is wrong, whenever things is regular, whenever things is schmegular, everything. What's one thing you strongly believe in that freshmen should come into college knowing? You came to college to, to go to school. So yeah, while you're having fun, while you're not around your parents, that's cool, but like the people you surround yourself with, the clubs that you join, the parties that you go to, all of that affects your grade in a positive way or a negative way. So I'll just say, if you coming in here thinking like, oh, you have I, it's fun, fun, it is, but you have to balance. Like we go to the parties late and then we go to class the next day. Like it's crazy how many friends, my sister was just telling me that her junior year is when a lot of her friends just left school. And I've, it's been a lot of people that have just been in and out of school that we've got to know and it's like wow that's crazy like a lot of people don't stay in college it's not like high school where you could just like go home after and not have a choice you could really just say i'm not doing this and some people say they're not doing that some people don't get a chance to even try to decide or not because they fell into other things that make it harder to go to class and do your homework and college is hard it's high school on steroids if you could really relive any day in your life what would it be I don't know, in life? I've been alive for 21 years. Okay, do, like, be, like, what's one thing in grammar school? In grammar school? Yeah. Anything in high school? Oh, wow. <laughs> Would you want to relive anything last like, I will say one thing, like lately, I would love to relive is our Cali trip that me and my sisters took. That was really such a fun trip. And the first time I ever went to Cali, I was with my parents. So like we looked at houses kind of like if we was passing by, like we saw the Hollywood sign, we walked on the strip and we went to Universal Studios, but we didn't do anything that was like outside of tourism. So when, my, when me and my sisters went, we got to go to other cities. We went to Malibu, we went to Calabasas, we went to Asino, we went to Tartar. Arizona. And we was just all over the place and we got to see a lot of different stuff. And we got to do things, eat places that tourists don't eat at. Like, I don't even think we walked on the strip not once. We didn't see no stars. Um, we went to Santa Monica, but we just went to go to eat. Like, it was such a different experience, I would say. Crazy. Well, I don't know if this is really a guilty pleasure, but I talk to myself. I feel like everybody does though. Not like, hi Sierra, how are you? Oh, I'm good, how are you? Oh, that's good. good. It's not like that, but I'll talk to myself like, especially when I'm getting ready for bed or when I'm getting ready in the morning, like I'll plan out my day and be like, okay, so today you have this. Or like when I encourage myself to do something or if I'm trying to really organize something, um, I do that. Also like when I do my makeup in the morning or when I'm getting ready for bed and I'm taking off my makeup or washing my face, whatever. I pretend like I'm filming a YouTube video in my mirror, but I feel like everybody do that, so. I don't, I don't know. I don't like to perform per se. What? Really, nigga? Um, well, I'm gonna talk like I'm giving advice to younger me. Me that just got to college and she's a little 18 year old that doesn't have a taste of life for real yet. I feel like us 2020 graduates of high school got a big taste of life when COVID happened. 
because it was COVID, it was Black Lives Matter, it was everything going on. So I feel like that really opened us up for like real world situations. But it also kind of closed us in because we was quarantined. But I feel like the biggest lesson I've learned, especially like in the last year or so from college, is just knowing relationships. And that's friendships, like academic relationships, romantic relationships. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that if you don't communicate, there is no foundation at all. Like friendships, I fell out with a few people since I've been in college just because there was a poor communication communication like I would literally do a whole story time on how I had a friend that I was considering my like that's why I don't use the word best friends like if we real close you like my cousin or my sister because the core best friend is just like what makes them better than any other friend if they don't act like it like I don't not believe in best friends I know people do have real best friends but I don't consider myself somebody to like say that a lot so I just feel like there was this girl that I was getting closer to that I would consider like that best friend or whatever and she lied to us about her whole life and it just like threw me off a little bit so and then there's like when you talk to like guys and they not honest on how they want this to turn out like if they see it going past any other time if you're gonna be the only person involved in it like the thing i can say is that i've never been embarrassed in that way because i do a good job of carrying myself real quiet like i move real quiet if somebody ever do me wrong nobody would ever know about it they just see okay she moving different they want to like oh damn he he screw her over because i'm never gonna go outside for nobody I am looking forward to how college is going to look as an upperclassman now. Cause I've been one for a semester, but this last semester was really focused on Zeta. And like that was my main fo focus is like trying to be a part of that. So I didn't really think much about anything else. Like for, not for real. I've been um, meeting with my advisor a lot and thinking about the future as far as like post-college and seeing where I want to go with my major and my minors and just life in general. Like, I don't know, my sisters have boyfriends and I always tease about like when they're gonna get married, like who's gonna have kids. Not my sisters particular, but like anybody that I'm close with, like just seeing how life looks from like getting more grown. Like, I must be 21, life is getting more grown. I was calling Chris, um, Bear died. Yeah, he did. Oh, How did he die? Maybe in baptized anymore. Um, bear praise. Well, y'all, that was the last question for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, become a king or a queen. Follow me on Instagram at Sierra X Andrea. Follow me on TikTok at Sierra X Andrea. Follow me on Twitter at Sierra X Andrea. And if you want to see more of me, follow my makeup Instagram at C Makeup. I'm also coming with new makeup videos once I get back from Chicago tomorrow. So it's up, it's the period. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.